Welcome back to Metro Exodus. Before I continue, I just wanted to show you how the menus change. So it used to be that Anna was sitting here in this seat and it was all uh, deserty outside, nice and dry and hot. But now it's empty. I suppose because we're separated from the Aurora or because Anna's sick, I'm not quite sure which. Also, there's a cute little bobblehead dog up here. In the last episode, Alyosha and I crashed in the taiga, and were introduced to some of the locals. Um, children of the forest, and Olga, and now I've just met some pirates who warned me to fuck off. I think those groups are separate, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, our mission is to go to the dam, see if we can find Alyosha. Uh, let's continue. Pretty sure we're about to see the pirates and have to sneak past him because they warned me when I was starting to go across that bridge right over there. So the... Whoa. So probably nearby. What was that sound? Was that power? Ah, oh, yeah. Forgot night vision uses up power super quickly. Hmm. I should probably just go here to sneak past everything then, huh? I do want to take a quick peek over here and just see if there are people. Yes, I hear voices. <clears throat> yeah, okay, let's not go that way. Pioneer! I, I just want to pause for a second. That's the group that I forgot the name of. We were spoken to by Olga. They kind of saved us and said, I know you're not a bandit, but I guess everybody else will treat you like a bandit and probably kill you. So just stay out of sight. And I think the people that they're with is the pioneers. And then the other group is the pirates. Учитель хотел, чтобы мы защищались. Ну, не помогает же. Вон опять бандиты в деревне появились. Да еще наши чужака какого-то непонятного поймали. Забыли, значит, урок. Пора напомнить. Потому мы и в дозоре. Поймаем этих гадов, пару новых пугал сделаем. Надолго хватит. Ну, ладно, с бандитами ясно. Они такое у нас творили. Но новый чужак этот на бандитов не похож. Может, мимо проезжал? Был бы не похож, проезжал бы мимо. А тут на берег к нам выполз. Ну и значит, поработай пугалом, чтобы другие стороной обходили. Ну, не знаю. So maybe even the pioneers don't really want us dead. It's just the pirates. Sounds like they both came from the same person, the teacher. We heard a tape from the teacher in the last episode. It's like they might might be like a, a split group. Pioneers and the pirates kind of went their separate ways, but still live in the same general area. Also, they mentioned we caught a drifter, not drifters. Which means I don't think they caught Alyosha. That's good. I wonder if I can just go talk to the pioneer then. If they don't want us dead. I love the fact that I can just run into the forest and just that there's just stuff over here. Let's keep going. Maybe there's something special. It's really pretty. Oh god, oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Don't sprint down a hill in this game. You will break your legs. Yeah, should I go... Like, how should I approach this? Should I knock everybody out? Should I just pass them by? Should I try to talk to the pioneer? I'm going to try to talk to the pioneer. Oh. Huh. I, I guess coming out of the dark. 
all quiet like is enough to freak them out to the point where they'll, where they'll shoot me. Okay, fair enough, I guess. Pioneers and pirates, both will kill me. It is nighttime. It shouldn't be that hard to stealth them. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to knock them out. Let's switch to distractions. What are they holding? Is it like a makeshift ball? What is it? Like a coconut? Oh, it's a tumbleweed. <laughs> I appreciate their ingenuity. Somebody spot something? No, I think we're okay. That sound sort of just happened again. I think that's the, like, you're being seen sound. Or maybe somebody heard me up above. I have so many arrows. Do you think an arrow to the head is non-lethal? I'm joking, of course it is. Look at the color of the stars. They're so blue. Stars aren't normally like that at all. Is that some sort of atmospheric distortion thing because of the fallout or something? I don't know. I should go for this person here. There's someone else looking. There's also a lookout up there. There's a lot of light fires. They're just two in the open. Oh god. They're looking in my direction. front door, you'll surely catch anybody trying to sneak in. Hmm, I don't think I want to play that. That would attract their attention. Oh, there's three of them. Hmm. They are... 
these two are in the dark. That one's kind of in the light from up there. Maybe if I take out the ones in the dark, this one back here won't see it because they're in the dark. Let's hope. Shit. Well, yeah, this barrel's kind of in the way. Uh, I'm going to see if I can come from the other side. Do they see me? Sorta. Didn't actually do anything about it though. Ah. It's very strange that none of them have any gunpowder based guns or anything like that, just crossbows. Wonder why everybody's adopted that. Maybe that's what was taught to them by the teacher. I mean, it makes a lot of sense, especially if you're hunting deer, sustain, trying to sustain yourself, but catching game and whatnot, and hunting, because you can reuse a lot of your arrows. I imagine the tips and stuff would sometimes break, but much more sustainable than bullets. these damn webs. That makes light, though. Eh, I'll be fine. And now I can do this. Little kid's note. Teddy, the teacher says we must leave all we don't need. I need you a lot, because you're my bestest friend. Don't be lonely. I'll visit you very often. I want to get up to, into the tower and take out the scouts, looking down. Tim? Oh god. I did not know there was somebody on this level. I think we're okay. Helsing can be loaded with explosive bolts. Use them in critical situations or switch to regular ones to remain concealed while shooting. Yes. 
Interesting. Also, yes, it makes sense that explosive bolts would be not stealthy. <laughs> it's R to switch types. Yeah. Tempting to shoot this person. Oh, I think it's the first time I've seen a candle inside of a cup before. Usually it's just in a little tin. Ah, uh, that is an alarm. Let's not use that. Actually, somebody up here? Anna? Wait, are we to our destination? Uh, maybe I'm not sure. sick about us. How exactly did we hear that, though? Is our... Did they take our equipment here? Solemn Oath. We grew out of this camp as we grew out of childish, childish games, and now we're leaving for the forest. We swear we'll become better and stronger and we'll survive in this new world. 147 signatures. Yeah, where the heck do we hear that from? We don't have a radio on us, right? That was close. No, they definitely spotted us. <laughs> they might just turn around. I also want to throw a can behind him, but I don't really have an angle on that. If I blow out the torch, it's going to get their attention. Come on, you can't be that interested in watching the freaking staircase. Turn for a second, got my hopes up. I kind of noticed it, but they didn't do anything about it. They're still looking my direction, though. They're still going to see me. Yes, back up the stairs. <laughs> I think other people probably heard that as well. Ah, shit. Spotted. It's going to be a miracle if I don't get spotted. Holy shit. Okay, somehow that worked. Ooh. Hey, 
сейчас посмотрю и обратно. Эй, а что это там под деревом? Oh, Ты кто? Ты кто? Вот он, ребята! <laughs> to turn around. Yes, fuck off. Get out of here. Hope nobody sees this. Is doing so well. It is very satisfying to take him out with nothing but cans in my fists. Yeah, I like the start. Take this person out. Throw a can over here to distract him. Get him to turn around. Then I can get this one pretty easily. This one's no problem. I'll just leave everybody back there to cool down while I take out this person. I didn't even see the person there. Holy shit. Ребята, вон там в проходе. Что-то есть или мне кажется? Nobody look, nobody look, nobody look. <clears throat> I wish I had water darts from the thief games. So I could put out fires? Oh, that'd be so nice. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that one there, I think. Yes, keep your eyes open. I think this is the last person. Man, that is satisfying. It's always harder than I think it's going to be, but... Oh, it feels good. Ew, blood on my lens. Turn the lights back on. Make this place a little bit more homely.
don't remember if I looted this place properly. I think so. Oh, right, there's a basement. Got a secret cache down here. Whoa. I don't know what those attachments are, but it looks tricked out. It's dirty as hell, unfortunately, but it has the night vision scoop. Let's go topside. Night vision scope. Oh, that is so cool. The dirtier the scope is, the more it's actually, like, the lens is dirty. I didn't know that. Okay, anyway. Um, this thing has a magazine. Oh, it's not just a one shot. Um, I can't actually see what the attachments are, though, because I can't go into my pack or anything like that. But, uh, let's see how, let's see how fast it shoots. Where do the arrows go? I, th I thought they would stick in the ground. Oh, they got a little green tip. Yeah, it's not like... It's not like... Totally semi-automatic, shoot as fast as you can click, but definitely faster than having to load it up each time. How's the accuracy? If I was to be here and I wanted to shoot that corner... Where did it go? Where the hell did it go? I suppose the accuracy is affected by how incredibly dirty this thing is, though, so... I guess that doesn't really tell me much. I want to go check the top of this tower again real quick. I still don't understand where I heard that radio message from. I still don't know where I heard the radio from, but it looks like to continue, if I want to get across this river, the only way across is through this. Well, that's awkward. What the fuck is that? Holy shit. That, I think, is a mutated bear. I wonder if that's what made that screaming noise right before our cart crashed into the water. Sounds like it. I think that's it. I just know I'm going to have to fight that thing at some point. Right, they can't just tease an enemy like that and not have you fight it. It's going to be just like the, the sarfish. Oh, so that wasn't the dam. Right. I thought maybe it was near here, but where is the dam exactly on the map? Oh. 
Well, of course, it must be the thing all the way in the north, right? Yeah, X marks the spot that is on the way to the dam. It's, it's actually... That might be the end of this entire region when we get to the dam, I wonder. Seems like you gotta go through everything to get there. You know, I maybe shouldn't be wandering around these woods when that bear thing's around here. I don't know if I don't know if I need to be concerned about the wolves. They seem to mostly be running. But that one's not. Yes, I do need to worry about them. Just not on my leg. Oh, shit. Probably safe up here. Maybe you won't see me if I just give it a decent berth. Whoa, what's, what's this? What was that going to activate? Oh, a little hidden cabin. <laughs> Probably no point in walking up on this, but maybe there's something up here. Oh god, that's what I was going to trigger. I would have been impaled. Am I supposed to be up here? Cauldron over there. I'm super worried about where that bear is. Sounds like it could be basically anywhere. It keeps screaming from different directions. I'm, I'm assuming there's one bear. There might be more than one. And we're back here. Okay, let's go forwards. Let's go straight.
Oh, I'm glad I went up here. I can see why they built tree houses. Dusty Diary. It's so great we left that camp. This is the life. Yesterday, while the others were chasing rabbits, I shot a deer, and the teacher commended me at the evening assembly. We're finishing the smokehouse tomorrow, so we're definitely not going to starve this winter. And next summer, we're going to check if the city's all right. Oh, finally a place to sleep. Do I want to make it daytime? Hmm. Lose the element of surprise. Jesus Christ. Whoa, there it is. Holy fuck. Doesn't seem better than what I have. No, it's not. I saw ammo. There it is. somewhere I've been over there where's wait I think that's the cauldron yeah it looks like I can get back here from somewhere up there so might be quick to get back let's make it daytime of the morning. Ah, oh, it's a lot less creepy. <laughs> There's people here? Well, I wish I didn't sleep. What the f Okay. What the hell? Oh, that is the cutest little water wheel. That's adorable. I love it. That's gonna hurt in the morning. I have a very sore shoulder. Hey. My first gun. Is that a new gun or is that just a configured one that I've already had? What is this? I think it's just a revolver. Maybe. Seems pretty accurate. Doesn't have a scope, but it's got a nice glow tip iron sight. What is that green soup? It's luminescent.
There. At least I cleaned up a bit, so when they wake up, they don't have to worry about spiders on their face. Alchemist's Log. The wax idea didn't pay off. The mixture solidifies in the bottle, though it does burn rather well. I need to alter the formula again. Good thing there's so many bottles left from before the war. Those would be impossible to replace. As for the fuel, I'll crack that nut soon, I'm sure. What if I added some pine resin? This should make the mixture stick. Resin makes it too thick. It doesn't splash or burn well enough. What if I distill it, like the teacher explained? Turpentine should work as well as gasoline. Shit, this hurts. Just my luck standing in there when the tanker ruptured. Got all face scalded. Eyebrows just a memory now. I got it. Two liters distilled, it burns amazingly well. It's done. The perfect formula. Two parts grease, five parts turpentine, one part wax. Splashes well, sticks perfectly, burns hot, and you can't put it out easily. Let Roman try and not make me an instructor now. That sounds important. Is that like a new recipe that I can make? Improved Molotovs or something? I have so many Molotovs around. Do I even have room for them? I don't think so. Ugh. Let me get my air can. Oh, and then I can get back to the place over there. Up there. But first, I want to check out this. It's so cute. I've never seen a water wheel this small. Francisco. I love the pattern of the rocks here, all the striations, the layers. Whoa! Jesus fucking hell! That got me good. I love that little ray of light coming in from the roof. And all the striations kind of like leading to the hole. I did not mean to do that. Where do we come out at? Oh, just a little bit down from the camp. Let's go repel back to where we came from. Is it going in front of me? Oh no! 
There's a little plane that went first. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to keep heading towards the dam, which might take, like, 20 episodes. And I love that.